Hey folks, so here's a quick video I thought I'd go ahead and make about how to service a root style blower. I've seen some stuff online and videos and web pages don't really seem to go into what it takes to service these because these require, require some service just like any part on your car. Because behind this front cover is a bath of gear oil. You don't necessarily have to change it um, because as it operates, there is some intentional uh, seepage, very, very little, as you know, it heats and cools and stuff into the blower housing and kind of goes down into the engine. So it does lose a little bit of oil over time. Uh, pretty slowly, of course, that will depend, of course, on use, how much power you're producing, how many miles you're putting on it, and so on. So I'm going to quickly go over what it takes to keep one of these things going for as long as possible. And it's really easy um, and not really a whole lot to do. But again, the coverage I found is pretty thin. So I thought I got to just cover what it takes in order to do it. Uh, one thing to notice, of course, this one is a B&M, this particular blower, which is owned by Holly. So, um, <clears throat> so if you need to look up documentation for an old B&M blower, you're not going to find it in, under anything called B&M. You have to look under Holly. But for all intents and purposes, theirs are going to be serviced pretty much the same. Now, there are two things to look at. There's actually a back plate where there are greased bearings. Uh, now, that part doesn't really require much servicing. Uh, those are pack those uh, bearings are packed with grease, much like a wheel bearing. So uh, you'd have to put a lot of miles on the blower to, in order to need to really change the grease out on those. And if you felt you really had to, it would be a complete pain to do. But you have to get back in here. It starts getting dark and losing my light <laughs> back here. But you have to remove this rear plate and you can repack the grease on these rear bearings. But <clears throat> that, again, that's not really something you're going to have to do very often. I wouldn't worry about that too much. If you happen to have this blower off for any reason, or if you happen to have the carburetor off, well, it's pretty easy to take the blower off after that. I would go ahead and do that servicing then. But I, I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to service the, the grease on the rear bearings just because. Because if this thing's old enough, you're having to do that, you probably have other things going on too. <clears throat> so let's get into it. So uh, you see there's a plug up here in the top of the housing, and there's a plug kind of buried down here in the front of the housing. Okay, just like a rear differential, that's your uh, your uh, overflow, your kind of your sight plug, and that's your fill. And there really isn't any more to it than that. Uh, and you use a good quality gear oil. I had um, some will say uh, SAE 70, some will go you know SAE 80, SAE 90. Um, any of those will work. It, these these gear housings are not that particular. Um, so I had happened to have I had, I had serviced my uh, rear differential, and I had I used a 7590. So I had some leftover 7590. I just put 7590 in here, perfectly fine. Um, so actually before I get into it, let me kind of show you because this is the if you see my other videos, this is the 144 cubic inch blower, and if I swing around here. This is the 177 cubic inch blower. So um, when I get around to it, this bad boy should give me, see this blower is about six pounds of boost, maybe seven. This should get me up nine or so and get my crank horsepower over 600. I just, it's, I haven't done it yet. Uh, so what happens with these small block Chevys, that this, the 177 is a little bit longer don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. For these other bosses, they're, uh, they're capped currently with some uh, screw plug, um, Allen plugs. <coughs> but the, you can't see it in some of the carburetor. But the other holes are up here for this blower. Well, that other blower is meant for this manifold, and you just swap that plug from there to here, and then the blower bolts to these. So that, that bigger blower bolts to this lower. And because the extra length is in the back, this front uh, plate sits in exactly the same place. So then that snout just bolts to here. <clears throat> so 
while you're looking in here you can kind of see you can see this this drive gear you can kind of see the other drive gear inside and that's all there is to it just the two gears running the two the two screws and get the dust out of this thing it's kind of hard to see if you can see the screws but i'm sure you, a lot of you have seen blowers before <clears throat> so the oil the gear oil just sits in this housing and if you notice the bottom of the sight plug is higher than this the bottom of the snout opening so the snout does fill with oil too to help lubricate lubricate that front bearing and of course this would I'm turn clockwise you can see what happens i spin the screws you don't have to spin it very fast before it already starts drawing air okay enough of that keep that all nice and clean <clears throat> so um so again you're not really changing the oil here you just top it off in I guess unless the car set, sits a whole lot, then you might want to consider uh, trying to flush it out. But you can do that one of two ways. You can either you know, do a suction pump and you can suction some of the oil out and then just top it off. Or you can flood it and capture the oil and uh, just kind of clean it that way. Or add oil, run it, add oil, run it, add oil, run it. Just keep doing that and you can flush it out pretty good that way too. So the only way to do to add oil, you take a paper towel or a shop rag and I'm sorry, there's not a whole lot of room in here just for my hand and the camera. But you just shove it in here between your upper and the lower manifold. <clears throat> because when you're filling, this is going to dribble out. You're just trying to keep oil from building up underneath, you know, in the intake manifold. So just, you know, shove the, you know, your rag or whatever down under there nice and tight. Um, pull off, of course, that cap and that cap. And slowly put your gear oil in the upper until it starts to dribble out the lower and put your caps back in. There's not really much more to it than that. And these don't have to be particularly tight. You know, 12, 15 foot pounds maybe, if even that, 10 probably wouldn't do it. Um, and of course you add slowly because of course gear oil is very thick. You start dumping it in there and then all of a sudden it's pouring out, it starts pouring out here. You start going to put the cap in, next thing you know it's just gushing out of here because it's taking a while for that gear, that oil to kind of run over those two gears I showed you from the other blower. But and yeah, again, it's just kind of like topping off gear oil in a rear differential. You just slowly add it, and when it starts to overflow, put the plugs back in. And that's pretty much all there is to it. <clears throat> so like I said, I was looking looking up for if I could find any tips or tricks or make sure I wasn't missing anything. And I started looking online, and there wasn't much. And maybe that's the reason why, because there isn't a whole lot to it. But I just want to go ahead and give this overview in case somebody else had a similar question. And want to know how to do it and that's pretty much it and again you know, thanks for watching if you have any questions shoot a comment and anyway i hope this helps y'all have a good one